Every knee shall bow, tongue confess. Jesus, 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 Jesus. I love to praise your name. I love to lift you up. We praise your name. Jesus, 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 Jesus. Oh, sweet Jesus, 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 Jesus. I love to praise your name. I love to lift you up. We praise your name. Jesus, 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 Jesus. Hallelujah. Hi, my treasures. If you're new, I am Billion Treasure. If you're returning, welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome, 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 welcome back. Thanks for all the love and support you guys have been showing me on my channel where you can use the Lord. If you stay long enough, you can find some good. So guys, today is Sunday, so on Sunday we do praise and worship. Give God thanks. See, another day, give God the glory. You know, we, you have to take some sort of time for God. You have to give God some sort of time, man. You can't just give all to the world or work hard every single day without thanking God for waking you up, thanking God for your family, thanking God for the food you get to put on your table. You know, we have to praise God, have to thank Him. So you have to level up some time to praise Him and worship Him. So guys, today is going to be a short but sweet and inform informative video. So my treasures, I, today I'm going to read from Galatians. Um, because I think a lot of us need this passage because a lot of us just living our lives for ourselves. We don't care what happened to our fellow man. We don't care what even happened in the world. We just live it for ourselves, okay? And if this is not good, this is not right, we shall try to help one another. If you see something that's going on and you can help someone out of the situation or you can buy them a meal, I mean, please do that. You have to be kind to your brothers. You have to be kind all together. So we're reading from Galatians 6, 9 to 10. We must not get tired of doing good. You hear that? We must not get tired of doing good. We, we will receive our harvest of eternal life at the right time. We must not give up. We must not give up. When we have the opportunity to be good to another, uh, anyone, sorry, when you have the opportunity to be good to anyone, we should do it. But we should give special attention to those who are in the family of believers. So your brother or sister in Christ, I mean, truly, brothers and sisters in Christ, because they got a lot of wicked people that are pretending to go to church or pretending to be Christians, and they're not. Okay? Bear that in mind. So remember, let's read this one more time. We must not get tired of doing good. We will receive our harvest of eternal life at the right time. We must not give up. When we have the opportunity to do good to anyone, we should do it. But we should give special attention to those who are in the family of believers. Yes, you must be good. We must do good for others. I mean, we, you really need to keep this in your mind, in your heart, because so much wickedness in the world. So much wickedness, guys. So much wickedness. I'm gonna ask, and I have another one here. Um, 1 Samuel 26. 23. The Lord receives, sorry, the Lord rewards everyone for their righteousness and faithfulness. The Lord deliver you into my hands today, but I would not lay a hand on God's anointed. Mm -hmm. Can I lay a hand on God's anointed? <laughs> Guys, I just wanted to share a couple of scriptures with you all. I mean, there's a short and sweet video. I have one more, please. One more. Psalm 16, 8. I think I'm going to read to 8 to 10. Um, okay. I always remember that the Lord is with me. 
So you hear that? So you always need to remember that the Lord is with you. Don't matter what you're going through, remember that the Lord is with you. Okay? He is here close by my side. So nothing can defeat me. So my heart and soul will be very happy. Even my body will live in safety. Because you will not leave me in the place of death. You will not let your faithful one rot in the grave. God is always there with us. No matter what we're going through, he is there with you. Prayer. Asking to help you through. Or if it's his will, help you get out of this situation. Okay? Right now in a situation myself, but you know, I take one day at a time. And thank God for all his blessings and all his mercies. I am here. I'm able to see three grandbabies. Imagine three grandbabies. Oh, I'm blessed and highly favored. That's what I think to myself. Blessed and highly favored. <laughs> so, guys, um, I watched a video on the Smart Christian channel about generational curse. I think that that is a very good video and I think you guys need to go and check that out because I used to think that generational curses was like if my mother did drugs or whatever that I will come I will go and do it too. But when he explained this thing generational curses I was like wow Ooh. you guys you need to go and watch it. I'll be leaving that link in the description box and maybe the end screen also. I want to say thank you so much for watching. And if you're new here and you haven't subscribed, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button. And as I already said in my video, a man's suggestion is God protection. I remember to thank God. Keep on thanking God. Keep on praising God every day forward. Like, love you all. Have an amazing week. May God be with you. May you stay safe. And I remember to thank God. All right, guys. Bye, guys. Love you all.